Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my finished bye by fall update for you guys. I apologize. I feel like I hear an echo in this room. This is my back porch. I filmed here a few times before, but we're redoing it. We're renovating it and uh, it's completely empty. This is like legit drywall <laughs> behind me, but I just have nowhere else to film. My house is a mess because we're doing renovations and I just gotta film this. So let's make this a quick video just in case. Um, finish five by fall was I picked five beauty products that I wanted to finish by fall. And, okay, I knew I wouldn't finish some of these so I wanted to hit pan or kind of finish halfway or just really make a good dent in them and I did that so I'm really proud of myself and I did finish a few products so let me show you how I did. Okay so first I did finish two products I'm really excited about that. There was this eyeshadow it's a cream eyeshadow in the color violet and this is from the brand Martini. We got this in an Ipsy bag forever ago and it might look like there's some product at the bottom but I scraped at this thing and I finally finished it. I wasn't like in love with it when I first got it and for a while after just because I have so much. So I try to look at some products as if I didn't have a humongous ridiculous makeup collection and I actually ended up really liking this. I use this on its own. Um, it went on really creamy and smooth and then it was really easy with the fluffy brushes to blend it into the crease and this is a really good like one eyeshadow makeup look and then I also use this as an eyeshadow base for several other eyeshadows to kind of pack it on top whether it was another purple or a champagne color it was just really really pretty so I did end up actually really liking this. The next product I finished and the last product I finished is this uh, Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights Face Illuminator. This is in the color 100 Bare Light. I actually really liked this. I wanted to finish this in 2015 so it shows how old this is but I did use this up and um, I, it was, it's really pretty. It's a very subtle face illuminator. So if you're looking for a little bit of a glow, this was really nice to mix in with my foundation or my BB cream, as well as sometimes after my primer, I would just kind of put it here or up here or wherever you would normally put a highlighter. And then I'd put my foundation. So it just was like a slight illumination. Um, if you really like a BAM highlighter, this is not one to use, like just on your cheekbones or something, because it doesn't show as much. It's not like that. It just really is more of a glow. But really pretty, and I finally used it up. And oh look, it was good for two years. Um, I'm trying to see how much is in here. Okay, so this is one fluid ounce, which is actually the size of most foundations. So I'm actually really proud of myself for finishing this. Now, the next few guys I did not finish, but I'm really proud of myself. I have this Tarte Clean Slate, Clean Slate Poreless uh, 12 Hour Perfecting Primer. And let me just try and see definitely where these flowers are. I finished everything else. This is a clear, more silicone textured primer, and I do like it. Um, I like the Benefit Professional better, and something that's even more similar to this would be the Maybelline Baby Skin. It's similar in color and texture, everything. So uh, it says it's waterproof, line filling, pore refining. I don't really know if it's waterproof. I really didn't test it out. But in the last dog days of summer, this actually was really nice. Um, and it didn't build up, it didn't crumble up or ball up or anything. So this is a nice primer. I wouldn't repurchase it for the sole fact that I do like the Benefit one better. And I feel like it is very similar to the Maybelline one. The next product here is this NYX concealer. It's the HD concealer. I have it in a color that's too light for me, but it's in light pale. And... Um, I just use it, I use a color corrector first and then I just use it under my eyes to brighten up the area sometimes up here or around my nose just to brighten up the area and it looks like I maybe, I finished like right there, like right above where the HD is. So hmm, that's like maybe a third of the way. So I knew I wouldn't finish this because this was practically new. Um, I had only used this a few times from when I chose to put this in this little project pan kind of thing, but I really wanted to dedicate myself to using it and really just using it up because it isn't the best color for me, but it's not bad and I really like the HD concealer from NYX. I could have just exchanged it for the right color, but I rarely get out to Ulta, so that is that. So even though I didn't finish it, I am really proud of myself. And then the last product is the one I'm super proud of myself for because it's a cream blush. It is from L'Oreal. It's the Visible Lift 
color cream blush and this is in 702 peach gold lift and it is a beautiful peachy gold color and check out the pan on that and then the dip i know you guys can't tell but this is like a crater like i have been going to town on this i have the other colors well, well the rose gold lift so i'll probably just use that start using that once i'm done with this but i am going to try and finish this by the end of the year i'm super excited that i hit like a decent sized pan this is a gorgeous product on the eyes on the cheekbones as a blush topper as a blush base as a blush itself this is gorgeous in the summer it's my favorite but this is something that I'm gonna I can use year-round and I will and I'm just really excited so that's it guys that is my update I just wanted to show excuse me I just wanted to show you guys how far I've come and I think I did really really well you guys know if you watch my Friday makeup baskets that I have a lot of makeup so it's really hard for me to get through product especially things like concealer any kind of eye product and then a blush impossible so I'm really really proud of myself so let me know down below if you guys like these kinds of projects um I know there's one for Christmas I won't do one for like Halloween because that's less than a month away <laughs> but if you guys know of any let me know or if you do projects like this and you film them or blog about them link it down below and let me know your channel name and i'll check it out so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed stay beautiful stay blessed and i'll see you in the next video bye